friends, welcome to my channel and welcome if you are new here. I am sitting outside of the grocery store to do my grocery shopping for the week. It is currently Thursday. I am actually heading out of town tomorrow to Leavenworth for the weekend for my birthday, my husband's birthday, our anniversary, everything falls right next to each other. So we do this trip every year. We love it. So I decided to go grocery shopping today. You will be seeing this on Saturday per the usual, but I'm going to be doing my grocery shopping. I am going to go to Fred Meyer and Kro slash Kroger. And then I'm also going to be going to Walmart to do a little bit of a grocery pickup there as well. So I have quite the haul coming your way. So if you want to see not only what I picked up for the week, but my meal plan and what I'm doing for meal prep, I have a super fun fall Thanksgiving meal prep coming. Just stay tuned. So the first part of my grocery haul came from Walmart grocery pickup. I'm going to show you everything I picked up for the week. I am going to give you the points here on the screen for the green plan, as that is the plan that I am following. Remember that all of the smart points values for all of the plans are exactly the same with the exception of anything that is a zero point food. So most of these items are going to be the exact same points on all of the plans. So let's get into the Walmart grocery haul. I went ahead and stocked up on some diet pop only because of the holidays coming up. I wanted to have things available for guests as well as myself. So I wanted to change it up. Not my traditional Diet Coke, Diet Pepsi. This week I picked up some Diet Ginger Ale from Canada Dry. I love ginger ale. I kind of forgot about it. So it's like all brand new to me again. I'm really excited. And then I also picked up some Diet Cherry 7-Up. That sounded really good. And some Diet A&W Cream Soda. So just changing up the beverages for the week. I also saw this when I was about to check out, and this is the Diet 5 Crayon Apple Juice. This is zero smart points, and it is so good. Sometimes I just like to have a glass of juice with my breakfast, so I grabbed the Crayon Apple. I've never actually had this flavor. Two things of fat-free cream cheese. Fred Meyer, my normal store, does not carry fat-free cream cheese, so I picked up two so that I would make sure that I had enough on hand uh, for the holidays and recipes, and I just freeze these. And then when I'm ready to use them, I pull them out, defrost them, eat them, can't even tell the difference. Fat-free cheddar and fat-free mozzarella. These now have points on the green plan. If you follow the blue plan, they're still zero points, but for me, they actually have points. But I do like to have them on hand because they are lower points than some of the other cheese options. No sugar added apple pie filling and no sugar added cherry pie filling. These are for dessert. I like to just have these for dessert. I will have to show you exactly what I put together so low points and you get a lot for the smart points and I'll put that in one of my videos maybe a what I eat in a day or maybe during vlogmas I'll show you the dessert I make with this pie filling because it is so good and these are also for some upcoming recipes I mean they are so low in calories and points you can't go wrong and so incredibly good so two cherry one apple some of these spinach and herb Olay extreme wellness wraps. I really wanted the tomato basil. I loved those, but my Walmart did not have them. So spinach and herb was the second best. And I use these a lot for wraps, like for lunch, kind of similar to what I prepped in my meal prep last week. If you haven't seen that, that wrap was amazing. I highly recommend you check out that meal prep video. Two packages of the Sam's Choice chicken and apple sausage. These are my all time favorite sausages and I'm going to be using these in an upcoming meal prep. So two packages, great ingredients in these. The whole 30 approved, that's how good the ingredients are. And for the green plan, they are only two smart points per link. So it's a steal. And then I picked up a pack of chips for my husband, but I thought that I would show these to you because if you are a chip person, the points on these are not too terribly bad. And this particular package has the cheddar and sour cream, regular and puffed Cheetos, sour cream and onion, Funyuns, and then the honey barbecue Frito flavor twist. So if you are craving chips, these are pre-portioned, you can't overeat them. And really the smart points aren't too bad considering. And then I loaded up on frozen veggies. I love the great value frozen vegetables. They're one of my favorites. So I grabbed a bag of broccoli and cauliflower, 
crinkle cut carrots, a big bag of broccoli because that's actually one of my favorites. And this one is excellent because it is all florets. So no stems and pieces. And the Walmart brand is really, really good and affordable for frozen vegetables. And then we love the California blend. So I picked up two of those. So that is everything that I picked up at Walmart. So let's get into the Fred Meyer Kroger haul. And here is what I picked up for the week from Fred Meyer, which is also a Kroger store. Look at all that beautiful produce. So let me jump right in and show you what is from Fred Meyer. I have some Kroger brand home style seasoned herb croutons. This is for a recipe. Oh, I can't wait for my recipes this week. Wait until you guys see that right after this portion of the haul, my meal plan and meal prep, super excited. So some herb seasoned croutons. I also needed some herb seasoned classic stuffing and this is for a lunch prep recipe. So excited, the recipe called for this exact brand so I went ahead and made sure that I picked up the exact brand of the recipe of the stuffing. And then just a loaf of bread, mainly for my husband's lunch, but I wanted to show you this particular bread is 100 calories, so not too bad. And you can definitely work regular full slices of bread into your plan. So I wanted to show you this one. This is actually a really good brand. This buttermilk is really soft and really delicious. Also some ground chicken. This is for an upcoming recipe. This is 96.4% ground chicken. And then I did grab some 99% extra lean ground turkey. And this is for the recipe that I'm using the stuffing for. Some petite white potatoes. I've never seen these, these actual white potatoes. I'm excited for these. So this is going to be part of my lunch meal prep. I was all out of ginger from the last couple of recipes. I've realized I was out of ginger. Oh, focus guys. Okay, so I grabbed the ginger stir and paste. I love this. It just makes it easy. I don't have to grate and chop ginger. So sign me up for that. And then I also picked up a can of beef broth. This is for the recipe that I'm using the croutons in. Three cans of tuna, two large and one small. My husband would like tuna sandwiches this next week. A dozen eggs. These are my favorite eggs, as you know, the happy egg. I'm gonna need this for breakfast and just all around snacking. I'm thinking I may boil some eggs in my Instant Pot for this next week, so a dozen of those. And then last week, remember, I picked up the Siggy's Vanilla Yogurt because it was on clearance. You guys, this yogurt, I am in love. It is so good. And the ingredients are so good. It is three smart points, so it is one point more than the Dan and Light and Fit. But it is thick and creamy and so incredibly good so good so this week i went ahead and splurged and picked up three i will tell you that the dan and light and fit i can find that for about a dollar a piece at my store these are a dollar 69 but you know what it's worth it because the ingredients are so good in these and they are so delicious so i did grab one of the black cherry one of the coconut and then also one of the blueberries so three yogurts for the week dill relish this is for the tuna fish for my husband as well as for any other thing we may need dill relish for and then this was on sale i'm not going to take it out of the package just because it's kind of goopy but this was for 9.94 and these are already trimmed chicken breasts boneless skinless chicken breasts so i picked that up i'm just going to throw them in my freezer also some shredded parmesan cheese i need that for several recipes coming up did you guys ever realize how expensive Parmesan was? I wanna say this was like four something, which just seems ridiculous to me, but Parmesan cheese is delicious, and I like this real, you know, grated Parmesan instead of what we consider the shaky cheese that comes in the green and white container. So I picked that up. A box of fat-free, free-range chicken broth. This is for an upcoming recipe. And everything else I have is produce. So I have a bunch of fresh parsley. I actually have two recipes this next week that call for fresh parsley. Three Envy apples. This is for my dessert meal prep. Oh, I can't wait for this recipe as well. And then some cuties. This is one of the fruits that I decided I was going to have this week. I also grabbed some bananas and some pears, and then I can kind of fluctuate between those two. For my second fruit, a big lemon. Look at the size of this thing, and this is for a recipe. 
two very very sweet onions i love the sweet onions they're just a little pricey but the recipe called specifically for sweet onions so i picked up two a big bag of just regular onions this is such a great deal these are just your traditional yellow onions this whole bag is three dollars at fred meyer so i just throw them in my fridge and then i have them on hand whenever i need an onion and lastly i picked up a big spaghetti squash for an upcoming dinner recipe so that's everything from fred meyer or kroger and now let's get into my meal plan and what i am going to be showing you for meal prep so let's jump right into this week's meal plan and what i am doing for meal prep this is a carrie l meal planner you know if you follow my channel i love my meal planner so much it is a staple i could not do this journey without it it keeps me grounded it keeps my food tracked what i'm making for dinner ready to go it takes the guesswork out of it I love my meal planner. So this is the eight and a half by 11. Carriel does also offer a smaller version as well as digital versions of the meal planner. So definitely check it out if you're looking for a fabulous meal planner. There are several tabs in this planner. The first one is resources. And that is where you can track some of your favorite websites, meal planning blogs. You can even jot down some of your favorite recipes. And there are several pages for you to do just that. And then there is the inventory tab as well. And that's where you can inventory your freezer so you know what's in there and the date that you actually put it in your freezer. You can also do your pantry. You can keep track of expiration dates that way. And then you can also keep track of your spices and the expiration date of those. So great resource. We'll come back here to the yellow meal plan tab. The gatherings tab, this is coming in extremely handy this time of year. And this is where you can plan any party or gathering or event. You'll plan out all of the food as well as the supplies that you'll need for the event. And then there is a detachable grocery list. You can immediately take your food recipe and put it on your grocery list and take that with you to the grocery store. So it makes planning holiday events and any type of gathering so easy and there are several of those as well so enough to get you through the entire year plus some and then there is also the last tab which is for notes and that's where i'll just jot down recipes that i don't have the availability to print or screenshot just so that i have those on hand in my meal planner and then in the back there is a double-sided folder and you could pop recipes information whatever you wanted to use that for right here in the back of the meal planner so let's jump right in to the meal plans tab which is my favorite tab in the entire planner of course so each month you are going to have a monthly at a glance meal plan you can see that i use this this was the month of September. I will jot down what I am planning to make for dinner for the entire week. The night before, I take a quick look at this and make sure that not only do I have all the ingredients that I'm going to need for the dinner, but also do I have the meat out of the freezer and defrosting and ready to go for my dinner. So it just makes it really easy to keep track and everything again is just at a glance, which just really makes your life a lot easier. And then each week you actually have a weekly menu. So it looks similar to the gathering. You're gonna go ahead and track what you are preparing for the week. Now I only plan my dinners because I meal prep breakfast and lunch, but you could plan all three meals a day here in the weekly menu. So plenty of room for you to plan your whole day and then of course you have a grocery list as well so you can take your meal and put it on your list and take it to the grocery store i use this every week as you know and i use the grocery list every week as well so let me show you kind of how i use the weekly menu so this is the current week so you can see that i have all of my dinners planned out of course the grocery list is missing because i took it with me to the grocery store this morning so my weeks run saturday through friday so this is 11 16 through 11 22. so on saturday i will be in leavenworth for those of you that didn't know my husband's birthday is november 17th and mine is november 18th and we got married on his birthday the 17th so we have a lot happening those couple of days so we go to leavenworth washington every year for our anniversary we stay in a super fun hotel and we just enjoy the food and the beer in the town and we shop and it's just so quaint and so beautiful so we are actually heading out of town on friday and we'll be returning on saturday when you're seeing this video so i will be in leavenworth on saturday 
On Sunday, I am planning on making a chicken Alfredo. I've been craving like a really creamy pasta, so I'm gonna pair that with some veggies. And then Monday is my birthday. Sunday is my husband's birthday. Monday is my birthday. So for my birthday, I decided that I wanted Parmesan shrimp because I really was craving some shrimp. And of course, delicata squash all in my air fryer. So that is what I'm going to make myself for my birthday dinner on Monday. Tuesday is always leftovers because I go to Jazzercise and I don't get home until around six o'clock. Wednesday, I am making a spinach dip chicken. And this is a recipe I found. I just changed it from the original sauce and I'm gonna be using the Trader Joe's spinach dip on my chicken. So I'm excited to share that with you. And then I'm just going to pair that with some vegetables. Now on Thursday, I'm going to be making slow cooker French onion chicken. Now this is not like Felicia at Felicia Fitness Health chicken. This is completely different recipe, similar ingredients, but we're definitely gonna be changing it up. And this sounds so good, I cannot wait. And then I'm going to pair that with some veggies. And then Friday, I am making garlic butter meatballs. And I was gonna do zoodles, but I decided to go ahead and go the spaghetti squash route because we love spaghetti squash. So this is going to be a low carb recipe and it sounds so good. So that is what is on my meal plan for the week. And then for meal prep, here's what I'm planning. So I am doing, like I mentioned, a very fall Thanksgiving vibe meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm gonna be making a pumpkin chocolate chip pancake bake. Oh, yum. I may throw some nuts in there. I'm not 100% sure. I'm actually creating a lot of these recipes myself. And so I'll have to see kind of what I feel like. For lunch, I am going to be doing Mud Hustler's Turkey Cranberry Meatball Recipe. Again, those fall Thanksgiving vibes coming my way. And then depending on the points, I may do potatoes with that as well. And then definitely a veg. And then I'm gonna be making apple cider muffins. And these, I'm so excited about. They're going to be cinnamony and apple with that flair of cider, so excited. So you'll be seeing all three of these recipes on Monday in Meal Prep Monday. So. That is what's on my plan for the week. Again, this is my Carrie L meal planner. I will put on the screen here my code for 10% off. You can use it on any planner, including the digital version. So check it out. I highly recommend the planner. It is so essential, in my opinion, in any weight loss journey. I hope you enjoyed this week's WW grocery haul from both Fred Meyer or Kroger and from Walmart. Excuse my appearance, I just got done at Jazzercise, but I wanted to hop on and end my grocery haul video. Also, you guys, these recipes that I have planned for this upcoming week, I am so excited about. They sound so good and meal prep. What's better than a fall Thanksgiving vibe in a meal prep? So definitely stay tuned for meal prep on Monday and these recipes scattered throughout the next couple of weeks. If you're new to my channel, I'd like to welcome you. Make sure you subscribe, hit the little bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. That way you're not missing out on a single one. Please thumbs up this one. It really helps out my channel, plus I really appreciate it. And of course, comment down below. Let me know what one recipe are you most excited about. And I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye guys.